Hello everyone and welcome to ThoughtSpark. Here's an interesting video for you today. Have you ever wondered how fast do we think or react? What is the speed of human thought? We see light at the speed of light and we hear sound coming to us at the speed of sound. But have you ever stopped to think how fast are our thoughts? To answer this, we have to sort of define what is a thought. Let's define this by saying a thought is a mental activity where sensory input is received to the moment an action is initiated. For instance, we open our eyes, we see our phone. We think to ourselves, oh, let's check our phone, see if I got a new message, or maybe I should message somebody, see what my girlfriend's up to. All of this in a split second. A thought includes a process defined by our environment and our surroundings, and the distinguishing of these is a thought of its own. A thought composed of thoughts, let's say. Trying to identify one value for the speed of our thoughts is kind of tough. It's sort of like putting one speed, one value, to all land vehicles to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles per hour. It just can't be done. It also depends on the complexity of our thought. There are neural factors involved in this kind of question. First, there is distance. The longer that a signal needs to travel, the longer the reaction time or the thought process. This can be done like, say, at the doctors, for example. They test your reflexes in your foot versus your hand. There's going to be a big time difference between the two. Though, the neurons that are involved in reaction times, like at the doctor's office, aren't involved in a typical conscious thought process. Now, another factor is neuron characteristics. The larger the diameter of the neuron, the easier it is for a signal to travel, thus faster. Think of it sort of like a highway. More cars can travel faster on multi-lane highways than the same number of cars on a country road. So signals that go down smaller diameter neurons will take a little bit longer to travel. Some nerve cells have myelination that wraps around the entire neuron. This is what things like sniffing glue or paint tend to destroy and lead to nerve damage. The myelin around the nerve cell allows signals to travel more effectively from exposed section to exposed section instead of the full extent of the neuronal surface, thus moving faster. So, to answer the question, in a human context, Signals carried by the large diameter myelinated neurons can travel up to speeds of around 156 to 270 miles per hour. For a metric perverted people like myself, that's 251 to 435 kilometers an hour. Now, think about that. That's pretty fast. It's not quite light speed, but it's still pretty darn fast for a thought process. Whereas signals along the same path, carried by smaller diameter, unmyelinated neurons, travel at around 1.1 to 4.4 miles an hour. That's about 1.7 to 7 kilometers an hour, so quite a bit slower. Though with these figures come the complexity of the thought. So increasing the amount of neurons involved in a thought process requires more time. Think about this. There are 86 billion neurons in the human body. That's quite a bit number. Most neurons are not in physical contact with each other. Instead, a lot of signals are passed via neurotransmitter molecules that travel across spaces called synapses. Thank you for watching ThoughtSpark. If you enjoyed this kind of content, uh, enjoyed me being in front of the camera for a change rather than a voiceover, leave a like and share with somebody who may enjoy this content. Over here, on your left, are some videos that you may like. If you're watching this video after its release, a link to the, my latest video will be right here, as well as something else you may enjoy, both right here. Also, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.